Good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Financial Literacy 101. And today, I don't want you guys to be mad at me because I know a lot of times when you guys see stock, you know, stocks with high prices, you guys just automatically just turn it off. But this is a particular stock. And again, by using Robinhood and Webull, you don't have to buy an entire share. You can do fractional investments. And this is an ETF that you absolutely need for your portfolio. Now I have this one in my Vanguard portfolio and I've had it for quite some time. And this stock has always, always, always just done very, very, very well because the invest code, that's what we're talking about today. The invest code. Okay. Triple Q is the ticker for this particular stock is a popular ETF exchange traded fund that tracks the NASDAQ 100. We talked about index and ETFs fund. Now this is passively managed. What is very, very important because the one I gave you the other week was an actively managed. Now, this expense ratio is only 0.20%. So when we're talking about expense ratio, look at it as the operating cost for someone to put together that particular ETF. And we understand that an exchange traded fund is a basket of stocks. OK, it's not just one stock. You are investing in a basket of stocks. Now, and again, I don't want you guys to beat me up or be mad. But this stock, in a sense, is well over the amount that I usually go when I give you guys stock advice. But I'm telling you, you don't have to invest the amount that this particular fund is worth. You guys can put in 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars. And, and I'm telling you, the track record speaks for itself when we go over the review of this stock. OK, and because now I'm just going to call it the triple Q. The triple Q is dominated by big companies in tech. OK, big companies in the tech sector, such as Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, et cetera. OK. And it also has a very, very low, a very, very low expense ratio. Now, this stock is great option for investors who want to make sure they don't miss out on the next Amazon or Google. OK, because this is when leading Nasdaqs get big. This is where they get big at. They land on triple Q almost every single time. OK. So let's look into this stock. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but nonetheless, let's look into it. And again, family, don't look at the stock price because again, with Webull and Robinhood, and those links are in the description. When you join up, you get a free stock, of course, but you can invest in fractions, okay? So don't think about it. And this particular ETF has made me a lot of money, not only, okay? Not only in the appreciation and in the market doing well, but also in dividends, which you know, lately I've been like, these dividends are crap. But this this particular stock has really been given out over a dollar in dividends. And believe me, if you know about dividends, over a dollar in dividends is really, really good, okay? All right, nonetheless, let's get into it, okay? All right, so here we go. Power Shares Triple Q, also known as Invesco, okay? Also known as Invesco. Um, what a lot of other people know about this particular stock OK, let me break it down for you guys, is that the official name of this stock is called Invesco Triple Q Trust Series One. But some people just call it Power Shares Triple Q. OK, so we're just going to go with Triple Q. All right. But we're going to get into it. Over the past five years, this particular ETF has been up one hundred and forty six percent. OK, don't look at the stock price. I cannot say this enough. OK, because it's still worth being part of your portfolio because I'm going to invest in some of this today and I'm not going to buy an entire share. OK, I'm going to put this part of my Robin Hood and I'm going to tell you today is Wednesday. I'm going to show you by Thursday how much money I made off this stock. I'm going to show you by uh, Friday, Friday on the past year has been up 41 percent. The past three months, uh, 7.5 percent. The past uh, month, that was three months, 1 percent. The past week down 2.41 percent in the past day. It's also been down. Now, again, you know, guys, 
I love a great stock. I love a great ETF when I'm about to buy into it and it's down. I absolutely love it because, again, we want to keep that term in. We don't care about all the colors that these platforms are showing us. We want to buy low, sell high. But this one, uh, you want to keep this in there long term. All right. Triple Q tracks a modified market cap weighting index of 100 NASDAQ listed stocks. OK, the listed name for Triple Q is Invesco. And you're not going to find a lot of information because, again, this is the ETF that tracks other stocks that list them in their own fund on their own fund on, in their own ETF. Uh, the collections is growth and value ETFs. Uh, it says Carter Worth and Mike knows Triple Q trade. They're talking about that minor league ETF that major league potential of its own. Again, you see, it's always positive news about Triple Q. And I should have gave you guys this information years ago. But nonetheless, here we are today. Uh, you got it, um, your spiders. OK, when you anytime you see SPDR it, 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 in investing, people just call them spiders. OK, it's, this is a cool name. They tag to it. Spider S&P 500 ETF, Vanguard S&P 500 ETFs. I have the Vanguard S&P 500. That's a pretty good one. As you can tell, it's three hundred four dollars. But nonetheless, if I pop onto it, you're going to see over the course of time that it's been always doing well. So let's just let's just look at it very briefly. Let's look at it. OK. All right. As I can, as I tell you, it's always been doing good. And we understand these new dips, all these huge dips is COVID-19. OK, so everybody's hating 2020 because of COVID-19. A lot of people. Yeah, I got it. We understand that. So I don't even look at COVID-19. I look at that time I should have bought. Because where it is now, $304, it dropped down to what? Uh, $210, okay? So we would re really made some really, really good money. And this one has dividends as well. All right, so let's move on. Let's go to Market Watch. We're going to go through a few of these today because I'm really trying to encourage you guys. This is this is the type of stock that you guys need to invest in, okay? I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You need this part of your portfolio, even in small amounts, okay? Even in small amounts. The 52 week range has been um, $165 to $303.50. Okay. We understand that the expense ratio is only 0.20%. We understand that expense ratios start from 0 0.01 to well over 1%. And this stock is only 0 0.20. Okay. And you start getting to high expense ratio when you get over 0.75%, okay? So they pay out their dividends September 21st, 2020. Let's move on. Let's see, is there anything pertinent for you guys to know here? Let's look at this graph. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. So again, we're traveling through. This stock has always been doing well. Always been doing well, okay? We get here, this is probably COVID-19, and it is, okay? March. COVID-19 was at 190 and boom, it went up to 294 and today is at 278. This again, this ETF, and we're going to go over some of the stocks and some of the sectors that this particular fund actually covers. And you're going to cover a wide range of sectors and industries as well as stocks. Now, I tell people, if you kind of want to like safe invest and believe me, any investor will tell you there's no investment that is safe, but there are investments over the course of time that have not lost. They have always gained because it's kind of cliche and contradictory to say, hey, this is a safe investment. You know, some people in cash flow insurance, OK, cash flow insurance, uh, also known as infinite banking. Over the past 100 years of them doing that platform of insurance, those insurance companies have not lost any of their clients any money, but your returns are only at five and six percent. OK, so we looked at triple Q. You know, we come back up here. Look at their percents over the past five years. One hundred and forty six percent. So even if we go back a year. OK, we're at forty one percent. Those insurance companies with cash flow, infinite banking at five, six percent. That's still good because you'll never lose. But when I'm looking at the history of this, this fund hasn't lost any way. Again, I don't want you guys to pay attention to the stock price. Again, you can invest in fractions. OK. All right. So we looked at that. Let's see what else can we look at. Again, the expense ratio to operate this stock, which is the operating cost is only 0.20 percent. 
This is a very old range of sale back in 1999, okay? And then the 52-week range, again, is $165 to $303. I think that's pretty much it with that one. Let's go over to Zach's. Let's see what the buy rating is on this one. Okay, as you can tell right here, Zach's has this as a strong buy, a strong buy, okay? A strong buy. Uh, let's see here. Is any pertinent here? Volume. We got Zach's ETF rating is one. The ETF risk. Let's look at that. It says Zach's proprietary quantitative models divide each set of ETFs, exchange traded funds, okay, a basket of stocks in one particular fund following a similar investment and strategy, style, bulks, industry, asset, and class into three risk categories. You got high, medium, and low. The aim of our model is to select the best ETFs within each risk category so the investor, okay, so the investor can pick an ETF that matches their particular risk preference in order to do to better achieve their investment goals. So again, this is great for anybody which you want low risk or you like, hey man, I'm just trying to go all in and you know, very very high risk. This is medium risk. So this is this meets people who are in a low risk, medium risk, and high risk, in my opinion. And again, the history, the track record speaks for itself. All right. Again, the expense ratio is 0 0.0. And look at the dividends. Look at the dividends. The dividends for this particular stock is $1.63. So for every share of this stock that you have, you receive $1.63. Now, and again, I'm going to buy this stock today, guys, but I'm not... I'm not investing that much money into it. So I'm going to get fractions of that dividend. I might get like a 63 cents, 80 cents for the amount that I'm actually going to invest in. OK, so let's talk about this stock a little bit more because I know you guys want to know what is in this stock. OK, what is in this stock? And believe me, it's very important that you guys. And again, to me, this is a buy. Now, this stock tracks the 100 NASDAQ stocks that are in the portfolio of the ETF. OK. So what is in this stock? The sectors, let's talk about the sectors that's in this stock. Let's break down the sectors. You have the technology sector, the consumer cyclic sector, the healthcare sector, the consumer sector, industrials, telecommun telecommunication services, and also utilities. Now, the majority that this fund makes up in the different sectors the main one is technology is around 63%, almost 64% of this ETF is made up of technology companies. But again, you have healthcare, consumer cyclic, non-consumer, industrial te telecommunication services, et cetera. Now, let's go over the top holdings of this fund. So you know exactly, because you're like, okay, Triple Q, what's that? Is an ETF. Okay, an ETF is a basket of stocks all in one fund. What's in that fund? That is what you want to know. So when you invest in Triple Q, okay, that's the ticker for this particular stock, Invest Code Trust Series 1, you will be investing in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, Google, both of them Class A and Class C shares, NVIDIA, Tesla, PayPal, and Netflix. I'm going to say it backwards for you. Netflix, PayPal, Tesla, NVIDIA, both Alphabet, Class A and Class C, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple. So you will be investing in all of those major, major shares, okay? So I can't beat this up enough, ladies and gentlemen. So let me go over to Robinhood, okay? Let me go over to Robinhood. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of money up in here, just a little bit of money, okay? Not too much. As you can tell, right here in Robinhood, I got invest in, correct? So I don't have shares because I'm not buying one share because one share is going to cost me $278. Now I'm not doing it. Don't have that today. But I do have $200, okay? You might have $50. You may have $20. Put this inside of your portfolio. Anytime I, I'm, I'm really strong about stocks, have you noticed I have not been wrong yet? And that's not... You know, that's not saying that I won't be wrong in the future, but I have not been wrong yet. Go ahead and throw $10, $20, $30, $40, $50 inside this stock. And let's look at it Friday. Let's see if it's up. But I'm pretty sure by next week, okay, don't, by next week, you should be up, okay? I don't know if you're going to be up a dollar or $50, but you should be up. Because if you're making money, 
then you should go ahead and pat me on the back, you know, donate, and also join my membership, guys. On my channel, I have a membership button. I'm gonna start giving out stock tips and some stocks that I don't really release on my channel. That way, you guys can get the information, okay? So, my membership start off at two dollars a month, three dollars a month, four dollars a month, okay? And oh, the last one is five dollars a month. But the reason why you see people have these memberships on YouTube is to fund their channel because we either be uh you know lights better equipment better mics better backdrops everything you know essentially costs money so we're giving you the information so it's good to go ahead and support okay no pressure but if you want to go ahead and join that membership all right so here we go i got 200 dollars right here which is going to buy me an estimated quantity of 0 0.7 percent of a share so almost a share okay so again you know robin hood they're going to do you know Deposit the funds or whatever. I'm gonna do exactly 200. I don't want to put any more out there because this is the only investments I'm doing right now. Okay, there it is. 200 right there. Dollars invest in dollars and review order and buy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So I just bought 200. Where's my history at? Usually they pop it up here. Where is it at? Uh, there it is. Okay. Three seconds ago, history is market buy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is now part of my Robinhood portfolio. But as I stated before, I've had this in my Vanguard portfolio for quite some time. This is Financial Literacy 101. Learn money and be inspired. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to tell you, just like I told you guys on NEO, don't beat yourself up when this stock hits $300. You're like, man, I should at least put $20, $30, or $40 with this particular ETF. You guys have a great and wonderful day. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out.